That's gonna be a very sad goat. Yep. That happened. Hope all you visitors in the live viewing area got a good eyeball on that one. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back with more Jurassic World Evolution, playing the tutorial missions. And despite the fact that we're genetically modifying dinosaur DNA and sending carnivorous beasts into our park, the most pressing concern right now apparently is that we build a fast food restaurant. These folks are just leaving the t-shirt emporium that we actually had to research. We had to research t-shirts, but you know, we did it and they've all got t-shirts, I assume. So let's just deal with that real quick. We've got a fast food restaurant to place, and I discovered something between recordings. I was complaining in the last episode that there's not a lot of buildable space here. Um, we're really kind of locked into some set areas, and why, oh, why can't I do anything with these trees? Well, it turns out I can. We can just remove them. Bye. Yep, massive campaign of deforestation going on here. I know it looks pretty, but I've got a fast food restaurant to build here, and I need the space. So, yes, massive, massive deforestation going on. Can I, can I get that one little tree? Thank you. Thank you. That'll probably do it for right now. All right, what does it take to build a fast food emporium? Fast food. There we go. All right, 170,000. And we can may as well pop that next to the t-shirt place. Uh, how far? I love 360 degree building placement. Can I get that kind of little bit in there? I'd like to have that. No, not quite. It's too close to the t-shirt place. All right. Well, we can slide it sort of here-ish. That'll work. Yeah, just uh, pop that right there. And that should be in range of the power, too. Now, while that's getting constructed, we've also got like a... Okay, we ran out of power. Build All power right. Stations or increase your output. Okay. We can increase our output. Is that a research thing, I imagine? Because we looked at that last time, and I think I saw something in there for researching more power. Uh, yeah, let's view research. Now, is there something for power? Um, building upgrades. That sounds about right. Power upgrades. There we go. Improved output. Uh, increases total power output of upgraded power stations by 14%. A 5% risk of an outage. And it costs 100000 to research that. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead and research that. That seems like we're going to need that sooner rather than later. I know there isn't a path to the t-shirt place. I'm sorry, the fast food restaurant. I'll, I'll deal with that momentarily. Let's get back down to here. Yes, apparently the, the visitors cannot cross this small plot of grass to get to the fast food emporium. Boy, they're really into the t-shirts, though. Good job on us researching that. They're wicked into t-shirts. Okay, let's build them a path. And let's give them a slightly normal, nicer path. So build that to there. There you go, guys. No, no, come on. There you go. Done. Perfect. There's your path. You can get in now. You still need power. And we're probably going to need a bunch more power down the road. So let's just get that going. Although we don't have unlimited money. Down to 750000 And Oh, holy moly. This costs us half a million. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Um... You know what, guys? Just kind of look at the fast food place for right now. There's not actually going to be any food for a little while. We need to do some contracts to get some money going on. And we do have one of those that we can be doing. The security guy wanted us to go out into the world and get some carnivore DNA. So, no, not the fossil center. Sorry, not that. I want the place that we send expeditions on. Uh, expedition center. There we go. Yes, I know. I don't have power. I, I know I don't have power. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to be fine. We'll upgrade an existing power station or build another one. I promise we'll do that. We're researching that right now. So, yeah, the, the expedition center. Let's view the expedition map. Now, we need a carnivore. Now, we've already been to this one. That's where we got our Ceratosaurus that ate our other dinosaur. So far, we've created two dinosaurs. One of them ate the other one. It didn't end well. Um... I have no idea if any of these animals are carnivorous. I know a Triceratops isn't. That's about what I remember from being six years old. But Ed Edmontosaurus, I have no idea if you're carnivorous. Or the Struthiominus, Mimus, whatever you are, I'm not sure if you're carnivorous. Will it tell me? I don't know. If I, well, ugh, um, what have I got up here? 
fossils? No, that's not what I want. How about the... No, not the research. Island? No, 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 no. Just go back to the world map. Why are you flashing at me? Why do you have a... Um, exclamation mark on you? Two out of 37 dinosaurs. Um, actually, I dispute that. We used to have two out of 37 dinosaurs. Now we just have one out of 37 dinosaurs. Uh, hopefully we get a... I'm sure there's some upgrades so we can get more dinosaurs. That sounds good. Okay, back to the world map. Um, well, let's just go with the place that had the three different potential DNAs to find. 75k to go do that. Yeah, go send an expedition there. Dig team en route. Fantastic. Let's go back to the park. There they go. Oh, they're off in their helicopter. Bye, guys. Go find me a carnivore, please. I need you to find me a carnivore. So, like, don't bring back the Triceratops. Okay, improved power output, and it looks like that immediately solved my power problem. Oh, maybe not quite. No. Requires power. What What do you need me to do? Because there's a substation right there. That's operational. I'm Owen Grady. Oh. Hi, Owen. Owen's my friends. I've seen things Hi, Chris I'd Pratt. talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship. Like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Chris Pratt. Loved you in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, the first one, not power the second one. something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Well said, Chris. Okay, so, yes. Substations tr distribute power to nearby buildings. Well, we've got one of them. And ensure substations are connected to the power stations using pylons. And we've done that too. Um, we're just low on power. I think that's the problem. So we do clearly have to build a new power generator thing. Apparently that extra 14% ain't cutting it right now. All right. Um, well, those power things ain't ain't cheap. But it's. I think it's just what we're going to have to do here. Oh, they're big, too. Bigger than I'd like them to be, to be honest with you. Uh, but now that we've taken down all those trees, we can comfortably build... So, yeah, build me, uh, build me one of those Hoosie Whats that's right there. Oh, that's a lot of money. Okay, well, people better be buying a lot of fast food to justify this. Because that, that was a ton of money there. Okay, yep, get out of that, please. I don't want to do a pylon right now. I want to do a path. So this building will be kind of operational here. There's that done. Now, do you need a pylon going to there? Is that what you were trying to tell me? Because I'll build you one of them. That's fine. Um, do we go, I don't know, into there? Oh, it snaps to there. Okay, great. Good. Problem solved. All right. Good. Good, good, good. So that will hopefully deal... I might, I've just invested, like, over a million dollars to create a burger joint. You know, we're trying to build dinosaurs here, people. Yep, you can stop flashing the power icon thing. We'll, we'll, we'll cope with that. Um, speaking of dinosaurs, can I... Do I have any money left to make a new dinosaur? Preferably one that won't murder the existing dinosaur. I should probably make the same kind of dinosaur, which is one of these guys, the Ceratosaurus. It only costs thirty Thanks grand to incubate it. Here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Thank, thank you, Cabot. I actually want to see if I can make this Ceratosaurus even more vicious by introducing Pit Viper DNA that we got in the last episode. So, um, well, that's cosmetic. This is resilience. All right. Doesn't look like we can do anything until we unlock this, because I, I don't think that's a resistance issue. Um, no, this all seems to be locked down. Uh, the dig team is waiting for fossil space. Okay, we, we can probably cure that problem. We are in the green, though. We're actually making a profit per minute, so that's, that's in the win column. All right, let's go to the, the fossil center. That's uh, this guy, right? Yep, okay. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. Oh, Isaac, Isaac, I, I've got a lot going on here, but yes, I'll accept your contract to get a high-quality fossil. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Let's view the fossils. Are we really loaded up here? Because I'm seeing two available spots. I guess we must be bringing back more than two things. Well, let's just do some research then. How about this Edmontosaurus thing? Uh, research it. Oh, 10 grand for that. Yeah, see if you can extract the DNA on that. That's going to take about 30 seconds. Let's uh, see if we can be successful with that. Okay, yeah, so researching that, we apparently were bringing back three things, so we did not actually have That's the spath like bit. You. Oh, hi, Isaac. Uh, apparently I did your thing. Go me. Uh, reputation reward. Ooh. Ooh. Your rep is off 
the charts. So you're getting a reward for the entertainment division for your work on Islaman and Saros. Oh, and that looked like a cosmetic upgrade that we can do to some of our dinosaurs. Neat. Well, what did we get? We got silver. There's no DNA on that, so there's no real reason we shouldn't just sell that. So, yeah, sell that, please. Um, what have you got? The Struthia, the, the, the Mimius guy there, the little guy. And what are you? Amber for the same very high quality. Interesting. Okay. Well, we should probably start clearing some of these out. There's some more silver that we can immediately just dump. So there's a quarter of a million we just put together selling that. We've got some Triceratops fossil here. But uh, let's uh, let's do this high quality one because that seems to have a really high chance of, um, you know, actually getting the DNA out of it. It's a lot more expensive though. Sure. Go ahead and do that. And let's get out of there. And I just want to confirm that the burger... Bl I know, we're, we're doing horrible genetic experiments, but I'm hyper-concerned about the burger joint. Um, a horrible storm. Why, wow, you guys are troopers down here. Look at you, out in the monsoon here. You are troopers. You must have really wanted a t-shirt with a dinosaur on it. Okay. Well, we're, we have more commercial issues to deal with, which is... Now we need to construct and power a viewing gallery. A viewing gallery. Still on an expedition for a carnivore fossil, though. All right. Well, apparently whatever we got was not carnivorous. So let's send another expedition out. We may as well keep gathering these things. Yep, let's, let me view the expedition map here. Uh, anything on this side of the planet? What's in here? The Ceratosaurus. We've already got that guy. How about the uh, the China one, the Huyangosaurus? I have no idea what that is. Let's go see if we can get it. Yeah, off you go, guys. Off you go in the helicopter. Um, probably you should take, actually, like a plane to China. I, I don't think a helicopter is going to make it all the way to China, but, you know, best of luck with that. Uh, research Center, show me something. I actually want to keep kind of going on the power route because that's probably going to be a bit of a pain to deal with down the road. So what else could we do? Reduced upkeep. Well, that's good. That's that's a cost savings. And outage protection. All right. So that's actually not as exciting as I really wanted it to be. How about in the creation lab? What can we do there? DNA screening increases dinosaur viability. We've looked at that before. Ranger Station and Asset Containment Unit. Still, none of these people want to tell me who deals with the dead dinosaurs. Because that's a bit of a problem. I've already got one and he's rotting in the animal enclosure there. Oh, you know what? We're probably just going to go ahead and make more traits, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we totally are. Uh, the Alpine one, we looked at that one. Boy, a lot of these are locked. A lot of these are locked out. I, I hope we get to play with these more later. Uh, intuitive Learning... Increases attack and resilience. And intensive repair. Let's get some healing going on here. Defense and resilience traits. Yeah, sure. Research that for me, please. Research that. Let's mess around with some of these dinosaurs. Uh, and while we're doing all of that, let's, let's get the viewing gallery going on. Lord knows we should... Apparently the tourists are the most important thing here. Never mind our genetic experimentation on Jurassic-era animals. Let's, uh, well, let's deforest the place for a start. Yep, deforestation, please. I want to keep my buildings a little more compact. Oh, oh, yeah, just drag and drop. There we go. All the trees go away. All the trees go away. And what's it going to take for a viewing gallery? Gift shop, hotel, fast food. Do I have a viewing gallery? I have an emergency shelter. Do I, do I not have a viewing gallery yet? Do I have to research that? I might have to research that. Oh, there's oh, oh, an arcade, a toy shop, a fossil zone, the bar, bowling alley. Do we really need a bowling alley? There's dinosaurs, people. Why, God's name, would you want to go bowling on a dinosaur island? Um, okay, we, we got some fossils. What did we get? We got a, I have no idea what that is, a cynodont. A cynodont, but no DNA, dinosaur DNA to extract, so we'll just sell that guy. Oh, these expeditions are a pretty good source of money. Oh, there it is, the he Huyangosaurus. Sweet. He you look like you're an herbivore. However, um, I'm going to research you anyway because you look cool. And I might put some pit viper in you just for good measure. 
I really want to mess with their DNA a lot. Uh, so back to the Science Center. Back to the Science Center. Science Center, please. Research Center, I mean. Uh, do we have to research the viewing area? Uh, you, maybe? Visitor buildings. We did that. Okay. So where is the viewing area? Is it, Well, obviously, it must be under a different building. That's, that's clear. Is it in enclosures? Fences? Gates? Ground herbivore feeder? Tall herbivore feeder? Carnivore feeder? Live bait feeder? Viewing gallery. There it is. Okay. Window into the past that increases dinosaur visibility for park guests. Can be attached directly to enclosure fences. Okay, we can do that. We can totally do that. There's our enclosure fence. And what if we popped it maybe here? Yep, that'll that'll sync up very nicely with that. Oh, and it moves the fence along too. That's kind of neat. Okay, so now which way does it face? Which way does it face? I okay, it looks like the visitors would come in from that way, so it needs to be there. Alright, and you have no power over there, do you? No, and you obviously have no path. Apparently nobody can cross a small stretch of grass in this park. So yeah, give me that, please. Give me the path. And do you have power? I'm not sure. Is the fence powered? Eh, well, eh, that's no, that's the Hammond Creation Lab. It doesn't say the fence is an electric fence, which should be worrying. There's our one dinosaur, by the way. This is our one dinosaur. He killed the other dinosaur. Um, and apparently that dinosaur's corpse has rotted away at this point, but he's it. He's it. I think we'll call him Barry. Barry, y you killed my other dinosaur. I'm, I'm not super happy about that, Barry. All right, no power. Nobody is surprised by that. All right, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with it. I'll get to it. Uh, where's the closest pylon? Ugh, not really anywhere. What if I built a substation over here? Uh, so, uh, substation, 20 grand for one of those. Yeah, then we can, we can kind of afford that right now. So if I built you sort of, I don't know, here-ish, like maybe like that, that, that sounds like I'm just begging for a dinosaur to come in and smash it, but I'm going to build it anyway. And then the pylon, how far, oh, I can snap you right to there. Perfect. Perfect. I Problem like solved. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I made you go away, yeah, Isaac. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. Yeah, we've already had one death, Isaac. Um, not, not a park visitor yet, but we, we've already had a, a dino death. All right, construct a live bait feeder. That would probably is, is something I should have done first before you just killed my other dinosaur for food. Okay, well, we'll, we'll certainly do that for you. Enclosures, live bait. Oh, kind of kind of doesn't look like I can afford this. I can barely afford this. It will actually gut all of our money. Um, is there things we could be doing to be generating more money at this point? That would be great. Like uh, maybe the fossil center. Is there anything more we could be selling? And did we finish researching that guy? The, uh, the who's he, what's it? The Chinese dinosaur? Oh, we don't have a very good chance of it. Uh, you know what? These, we've already got these guys. We could be selling these. Um, we're actually doing pretty good on profit per minute, though. 18k profit per minute. That's not bad at all. Let's, um, I just want to give myself a little bit of a buffer zone, and we've already researched this guy. Yes, I am sure. And why don't you start researching this one? Let's see if we can get in on this Chinese dinosaur action here. Now, that gives me a little bit of a buffer zone. Oh, we've actually, we're actually already up to 300k. We're not doing too bad for money. Let's get a live bait feeder. And, oh, okay. Hi, hi, George. Hi, George. So make sure hi. You this contract. Uh, increase my dinosaur reading to one star. Okay. I don't know really what I need to do to do that. Probably more dinosaurs would be the answer. Uh, live bait. Here we go. Let's be really, really awful and put it directly in front of the live viewing area. Uh, can we get that? Where can we get that? There? There? I just saw a spot where it wanted to go. What? Too clo Oh, too close to dinosaur. Okay. Um, don't they kind of want that? You know? Food? Alright, so we, we got that guy done. I see there's already people in the live viewing area. 
hopefully with some t-shirts and some burgers. Oh, there's the live bait. This is going to be awful. Uh, a com okay. Oh, we did it. We got we got a thing. Oh, Draco Rex not now available, hey, and we got a million go. bucks. We've got a park running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results. Am I right? Uh, sure, Isaac. Well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add. That... No. 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 Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. Ugh. Okay, you guys can kind of fight in your own time. I don't even know who you are, Dr. Kajol, because um, I've never even spoken to you before. Again, I, I know I have an open-door policy in my office, but really, text me or email me before you're going to drop by and argue in front of my desk. There's the live bait. So, do, do you want to... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's not going to be a happy goat for very long. That's going to be a very sad goat. Yep. That happened. Hope all you visitors in the live viewing area got a good eyeball on that one. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's what dinosaurs do. They eat things. Well, carnivorous dinosaurs eat things. Uh, what was my, my whole point in doing all of this was... Um, oh, why do you have a power issue? Are you not connected to something? Well, it doesn't seem to be broadly affecting anything, so I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to completely ignore that. Uh, why is the control room flashing at me? Island rating. Okay, yeah, I know we did that. Um, well, actually, what are we doing? Profit per minute, 33,000. That is not bad at all. I'm kind of okay with that. Let's, now that we got over a million dollars, let's make another dinosaur. Let's make another dinosaur. Let's make another one of these guys. Hopefully they won't eat each other. That's my goal. That's my plan. They're half a million, but I'm okay with that. Is there anything we can do with their genetics? I'd love to play around with this, but this may be a later part of the tutorial because all these things seem to be locked. Cosmetic. What could we do? Resilience? No. No, 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 no. I want to do cosmetic, actually. Is there anything I can actually do? So what does this do? Apply gene. Oh, savanna pattern. Okay. That's applied. What if I wanted to change that? What if I wanted to change that into something else? Or we're we just moving them around at this point. Uh, switch DNA gap. Yes, I would like to switch the DNA gap, please. No, no. Okay, this may be a different part of the tutorial that I'm... I'm Hi. And I've Hi, been Claire. Hi, Claire. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Now, I believe I would like to add Pit Viper DNA, Claire. Would you like to tell me in a tutorial fashion how to do that, please? Um, oh, hang on, hang on. That's, that's one of the DNAs that I... Yes, this is one of the DNAs that I researched, is this guy, the intensive repair one. All right, so probably I can't unlock the pit fight well i have researched the pit viper thing but i probably can't add it until i unlock some of these things that's fair that's fair so what have we got applied right now we have um well we've got this apparently robust digestion all right i want to do intensive repair yes i would like to do that so apply that please thank you good i just i feel a little better that i've messed with the genetics of something so yeah, go ahead and... Oh, he's more expensive now, though. Interesting. That just bumped him up 100,000. Well, make him anyway. Make him anyway. That's that's going to take a little bit. So uh, how, how's the t-shirt place making out? We, we sell on a lot of t-shirts? Because that's super important, apparently. You know, horrible genetic experimentation, but make sure we got those t-shirts. Uh, fossil Center. Is there anything you guys should be looking at in terms of fossils? Uh, give me the Triceratops one again. Yeah, try, try and extract some DNA from that, if you could, please. Appreciate that. And um, where's our expedition center at? Should we, we should probably be sending out an expedition. That, that seems like a sensible thing to be doing. Has anything new opened up? We went to China. What's in Portugal? The more Ceratosaurus. It's relatively inexpensive to go there. 
Uh, yeah, go to Canada and get the Edmonto Edmontosaurus. Sure. Yeah, go there. Get, get me one of those. Bring back one of those, please. Off in your little helicopter. Bye. Bye. I know, we're still trying to do the expedition for a carnivore fossil. There don't seem to be any carnivores out in the world. I mean, we've got one right here, guys. He's right here. He's right here. He's adorable. And murdery and gilly and bitey. Yes, you are. Who's a good carnivore eating his goats? Um, do we have to... Actually, that brings up an important point. Do we have to, I assume, restock the goats? I mean, right? It, clearly, the goats aren't self-perpetuating. I think that's part of the ranger station's issue. Where, where did the ranger station go? That's your deal, right? You restock things. Drive vehicle, add task... Resupply feeder. There we go. Yes, I would like you to do that. Uh, select highlighted objects in the world to assign them as tasks to your ranger team. Okay. Uh, what about this feed? Yes, that's exactly what I would like you to do. That is highlighted. I would like you to go restock that, please. Apparently it's 15,000 to restock the feeder. That's an expensive goat. Uh, incubating a dinosaur with less than 100% genome can fail. Viability trait... Oh. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. Okay, so the viability is not so much are they going to breed, it's going to be will we be able to do the, incubate them at all. All right, so we want things with a high viability trait. That's kind of an unfortunate waste of money there. Success rate upgrades applied to the Hammond Creation Lab will increase viability. Okay. And gene modifications will increase the incubation cost, but can produce dinosaurs with significant benefits and higher rating. All right, well, we we failed at dinosaur, apparently. Is there, I'm going to make another one. Oh, just discard. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Sorry, Ceratosaurus. You're, you're in the trash, apparently. Ugh, that's grim. Um, what does that do again? Is that my upgrade? Empty upgrade slot. Is there anything I can upgrade? Reaction speed 1.0? No, this is all locked. Okay. Um... Give me another, give me another one of those guys. Yeah, give, give me another one. And I want to do the thing where I did the thing on him. Yeah, I want to, uh, give, give me his resilience thing. I want him to have my, uh, intensive repair thing that I actually, um, you know, unlocked. So, yeah, give me that. And what, what do you do for a living? You are, I don't know. I don't know what you are and I don't care. I want my intensive repair thing. Yes, yes, give me that, please. Okay, so make me another one of those, or at least try to make me another one of those. Okay, incubate that. What the heck, we're selling a lot of t-shirts, let's make some dinosaurs here. Uh, go to fossils. Oh, the expedition's complete already. Oh, what do we get? Oh, what do we get? We got the Edmontosaurus. Okay, what does that do for a living? I don't know, research it. Extract that DNA, please. That'll take a little bit of time. And then we've got another one, we can do another thing there. Oh, hi, Barry. Oh, Barry just ate another goat. Barry just ate another goat. Uh, speaking of Barry, what's what's your deal? You have 100% health and 100% comfort. You are one happy Ceratosaurus. You are a very happy Ceratosaurus. Yeah, you tell him, Barry. You tell him. You tell him to send you another goat. A $15,000 goat, apparently. The hell is selling goats at 15,000? That's the guy we should be doing business with. That's the guy I want to work for. The guy who somehow is selling $15,000 goats. Now, oh, we got a new viable genome. Oh, super, super. I get, I, come on, I want to go play with that. Oh, uh, what's your deal? What's the problem? Uh, is, is there a problem with Barry? Is there a problem with Barry? What what's what's Barry's oh problem? Oh gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. Oh no, Barry! It's time to treat it. Or what comes next? That's going to be on your hands as well. Barry, Barry, I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Do you have an ouchy tummy from eating the goat, Barry? Oh, yeah, Barry doesn't feel good. Okay, um, I think that is also a ranger station problem. I think they fix the dinosaurs. So, do you do that? Do you do that? Is that a thing that you do? You medicate dinosaur. Oh, but I, I don't think I've researched that. All right, well, let's hustle over to the research area. Uh, nope, not the fossil center, the research center. Yes, I want to view the research, please, and I want to do the one where we heal the dinosaurs. Medical treatment. There we go. 
And what do we got here? Common cold virus. Okay. Hookworm parasite. I, I hope that's what Barry's got, because that's the only thing we can research right now. Oh, no. Our incubation failed again. Boy, the tutorial dinosaur was way easier than... Oh, look at this rain. Tutorial dinosaur was way easier than building a, a fresh one. Got 100% on the tutorial one. And then Barry ate him. It wasn't pretty. Uh, profit margin is in good shape. Excellent. Thank you. I will not go to finances right now. The fact that we're profitable is fine. You guys are all out in the rain. You know what we should build here is an umbrella stand. Okay, research is complete. Barry, do you have hookworm parasite? Because I can treat that and... Where did Barry go? Barry? There you are, Barry. Um, Barry, can I tell what you have? Is there any ability for me to... Uh, how about show dinosaur statistics? Oh, you have the common cold. We can treat that. We can totally treat that. Uh, Rangers, come here. We've already researched that. Ranger team, I need you to uh, go fix Barry. Yeah. Uh, dinosaurs periodically contract diseases that endanger their health. Yes, I, I know that. We we're going to go fix Barry. Manually medicate diseased dinosaurs. Yes, I just we're, we're going to go help Barry. Come on, guys. Let's, let's go help Barry here. Where'd he go? Barry? Medicate him. Go fix Barry. And and while while you're doing that, I'm going to go see if I can once again try and make a friend for Barry. All right, discard that one. Throw that one in the trash. How are we doing on money? Oh, not so great, actually. Oh, we can make one of these new ones. Oh, we can make one of these new ones. But no, I want, I want a friend for Barry. Is there anything we can do to bump this up? Probably research. Let's just get out of that for right now. I just want to go to the research department and see if there's some way we can increase the viability through research. That would be really good. Um, let's see. Fossils, enclosures. How about fossils? Well, we've researched all we can there. Disease outbreak control. No sources of common cold remain in the park. Good job. So Barry is fixed. Fantastic. Um, enclosures? No. Building upgrades, maybe? Uh, the Hammond Creation Lab? Increases dinosaur viability. There we go. Okay, by 10%. Yes. Research that for me, please. And it looks like we can do that three times. So, perfect. Excellent. All right. All right. Good move. So, Barry is better. There's the rangers. Barry's kind of chasing the rangers, which is fun. Yeah, you better get out of there. This is a side hustle that we should get behind. Incubate, hatch, and release at least three new dinosaurs. Wow, Isaac, um, that's that's a lot, man. That's a lot. And you're only going to give me a quarter million for that? It's going to cost me like three million just to set that up. Isaac, um, well, good thing you're in the entertainment division because you're clearly not in the financial department. All right, no, we'll accept that. That's totally fine. Yeah, Barry, you chase off those rangers, Barry. You chase off those rangers. Even though they made your tummy feel better. Yeah. Good Barry. Um, we'll get you another goat real soon. So that's that's going to be our big next task, is getting three new dinosaurs. And my immediate thought is we should really be building more enclosures. Otherwise, Barry will eat them all. Which he has proven to do in the past. He has a precedent. He has a track record with eating anyone else who comes into this pen. In fact, that's how he opened this pen, is he walked in and ate something. something. So, okay, new enclosures, new dinosaurs. That's our next big task, and, and massive deforestation to make space for that. But let's do that in the next episode. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.